All right, this is Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 6. We're going to continue talking about division, only this time we're really going to focus on the e array model. And that is Lesson 6. For example, if we take a look at this array right here, we've got uh, three rows and four dots in each row giving us a total of 12. So we've got 3 times 4 equals 12. So if we wanted to write a division problem based on this array, well we could write 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And that would mean we have 12 total and then 3 would equal the number of, in this case, rows. But in previous lessons, we would have called this the number of groups. And then there's 4 in each group. 4 in each group. But in this array, I'd call it 4 in each row. Now, we also could have done 12 divided by 4 and that equals 3. Well, 12 is still going to be the total. 4 is going to be the size of each group. But in this case, we're not going to call it gro uh, group. We're going to call it the size of each row. And then 3 is the number of groups or number of rows. And that's basically what uh, this whole lesson is all about. So let's do an example. So we've got Mr. Hannigan puts 12 pencils into boxes. Each box holds four pencils, circle groups of four. So there's one, two, three groups. So Hannigan needs, Mr. Hannigan needs three boxes because there's three groups of four pencils. So our multiplication problem is going to be 3 times 4 equals 12, so three groups of 4, so 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And our division problem is 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And in this case, the 12 divided by 4 equals 3 the 12 stands for the total. The 4 stands for the size of each group. And the 3 stands for the number of groups necessary. Now in this problem, we have Mr. Hannigan again, and he places his 12 pencils into 3 equal groups. Draw to show how many pencils are in each group. So we know we need three equal groups. So I'm going to start by drawing three circles. There's my three equal groups. And I'm going to start putting my pencils into these groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so we've got our, up to our 12 pencils. And so there are four pencils in each group. And our missing value over here, our missing factor, is 3 times 4. Because this 3 says we have three groups of 4. And that equals 12 pencils total. And then our division, our missing division, is a 4. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Why? Well, 12 divided by 3 equaling 4. 12 stands for the total. 3 stands for the number of groups. And in this case, 4 stands for the size of each group. And our last example for this video, Judy washes 24 dishes and then she dries them 
and stacks them equally into four piles. How many dishes are in each pile? So if we were going to draw this, this four piles means we're going to have four equal groups. So um, we could either do one, two, three, four, to represent each of the four piles, and then we'd have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and because of the way I drew the array, each one of these represents a pile. Well, normally piles go up and down, but the way I drew it, the pile is represented horizontally, and so our answer is six. There's going to be six dishes in each pile because we have four groups of six. And what is the meaning of the unknown factor and the quotient? So in this case, the unknown factor right here, or the quotient right here, represents the number of dishes in each stack. Now, students could, they could have, let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I know how to do this. Now, if we wanted to, we could have also done, um, she sort, since Judy has 24 dishes and she sorts them into equal piles, four equal piles, if we wanted to, we really could have done it um, in a different orientation. We could have said here, and then here's another dish, and here's another dish, and another dish, and another dish. And finally, our last dish, and our stacks of dishes are falling, and they're kind of getting a little crazy. But we can see that we have six dishes in each pile, and we still have essentially the same answer. But now the, the array is oriented 90 degrees. It's been rotated 90 degrees to the right, or clockwise. And that might be more intuitive for your students.